Well, hi again, everybody, and welcome to the show that allows you to get free medical advice from real doctors. It's the Blitz 5 High School Playbook, Call the Docs. The good doctors from Beacon Sports and Orthopedic Medicine are here right now, standing by to take your call. So without further ado, here's the number to call. Area code 513-241-8315. 513-241-8315. This group is ready to tackle all of your pressing medical questions, no matter what ails you. We're going to introduce you to every one of the doctors we have at the phone bank. But right now, let's meet the head man himself, the man who puts the beacon of light <laughs> in beacon sports uh, and, and orthopedic medicine, Dr. Timothy Kremschek. Good to see you again, Doc. Uh, you know, I mean, it just every time we do the show, it amazes me the amount of knowledge that's passed from doctor to patient and the amount of questions that are just really good, legitimate questions from patients who just want to understand what's going on. You're about two weeks away from getting your MD degree. I am. Yes, after all What would time. that stand for? I'm not sure yet. Because <laughs> I have a BS degree, and I know exactly <laughs> what that stands for. But you're right. I mean, it's kind of like, it, it's, it's just kind of a neat, uh, neat thing we got going on here. It, it's, it, we look at it as community service. Uh, we spend a lot of time with the high school athletes. We do the Blitz. We enjoy doing this. Yeah. Uh, we enjoy uh, being involved with the community that we, uh, most of us have grown up, and a lot of our patients watch. It's a lot of fun. All right, let's go down to that phone bank as promised because George Vogel is standing by with some of these great doctors that have come in tonight from Beacon Sports and Orthopedic Medicine. Uh, you've got the president down there right now, is that right? I'm talking with Dr. Peter Cha, the president. I wanted the Cliff Lash Orchestra here to play Hail to the Chief, but we missed out on that one. But Dr. Cha, you're going to introduce the guys that we're seeing right now who are uh, answering the phones. Who we got tonight? Yeah, we got uh, <clears throat> six doctors, including myself here. And interestingly enough, all the doctors are, are from Cincinnati or have some roots from Cincinnati. So to start, we have Halim Chowdhury. He's our newest and best recruit. Um, and he, we brought him from the University of Toledo where he used to run the joint replacement service. And he brings it over to here um, in Cincinnati. And that's what his specialty is, is hip and, joint, hip and knee replacements. The guy's outstanding. He's our number one draft pick. Next to him, you've got the veteran. Yeah, we got the veteran, John Brand, and he's our spine doc. He's uh, uh, the master with the needle. He'll, uh, he does the epidurals and the necks and the backs, and he also does the EMGs. And uh, uh, he has a really good program with the concussions for all of our fall athletes as well. In the back row, starting from the left? Starting from the left, we got Rob Rolf. And the only thing you got to say about Rob is he's, he's Harvard trained. So <laughs> that's big time. So he's really a special specialist within the shoulder the adult reconstruction with uh, replacements and resurfacing, and he's really brought a new dimension to our uh, sports medicine arm. Next to him? Uh, yeah, next to him is Mohab Boad. He is our uh, hand surgeon. Um, he is uh, such an asset to our, uh, our group in that he does every complex and simple reconstruction of the hand. The guy can take uh, a suture the size of, the, of a filament of hair and tie together a nerve and an artery. It's unbelievable. That sounds pretty yeah. complex to me. And then another veteran next to Yeah, the, that's the All-American Dr. Uh, Bob Berger, um, Notre Dame football guy. Um, he, he actually trained at the Houston Clinic, which was where ACLs were pretty much event, invented. So uh, he's a great asset, has uh, really maintained everything as far as the knee and the shoulder is concerned, so he's awesome. And uh, we don't want to forget about you. You are Duke trained, correct? Yeah, Duke, there go, there go my Blue Devil, so yeah. <laughs> and we have uh, also with us tonight another doctor who's going to be online so you can chat with a doctor. Dr. Daggy is with us. Yeah, and, and Matt's also a UC guy. Um, he's uh, primary care sports medicine, works very closely with uh, Dr. Kremchek, and uh, he's been a huge asset as far as the availability we have to provide for our patients. Okay, if you want to chat with Dr. Daggy and put some questions through to him, just go to WLWT.com, join the chat, and they will be able to let you know exactly what's going on. He can answer your questions. There he is. Say hello, Dr. Daggy. There we go. He's at the computer now, ready to take your questions. And right now, I have a question for Dr. Chaw, and that would be, since we last talked to you, I think a few things have changed with Beacon Orthopedics. What's the biggest change? I think our best change is our new physicians. We've got what you saw, Dr. Chaudhry, Dr. Foad, Dr. Daggy, bringing in the, what we feel is the cream of the crop and elevating our game. So we're trying to provide the needs for the patient, and we're filling the gaps that we didn't have before. That place is big. It's almost like a, a, 
a GM plant or something up there now. You got a big facility. Yeah, last year we just finished a full remodel, brought in this uh, company D1 that works on our sports specific activities. Uh, we've really fine tuned the appearance to make it easier, less of a doctor's office and more of a orthopedic experience is what we like to say. Well, Dr. Chaw, I'll let you get to the phones. I know it's been what, about four minutes since uh, Dr. Kremchak and Ken Brew have been able to appear on this show, and that's not in the contract. Yeah, they right. got to be on like every three <laughs> minutes. So let's go back up to the studio. Doc, Ken? Well, we were very excited to see Dr. Chaw. They're very animated now, and you go into the theatric school and everything has really paid off for he, Pete. He's become a, uh, exactly, he's, he's become a TV personality. We he, like that. He has. He's going to be doing dinner theater here around the area. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Uh, we're going to check back down with the doctors who look very busy on the phones right now. Let's talk about the partnership you now have at Beacon with D1 Training. Uh, I mean, this is obviously a national uh, training group. Uh, the big partnership got a boost here about a month or so ago when Heather Mitz announced she was joining that. And, of course, we know Heather from her time with the Olympic team and also uh, years and years ago at St. Ursula. Well, not that long ago at St. Ursula, but the fact of the matter is it was a huge boost. Yeah, D1 is a performance center, and we partnered with uh, D1. We wanted to develop a program not only to keep athletes healthy, get athletes better. Uh, we're coordinating this with our physical therapy for prevention uh, programs such as anterior cruciate ligament. And it's a tremendous asset. And having uh, Heather Mitz, uh, as we all know, locally, we're very proud of her. And she wanted to be involved with a winner. D1 is based out of Nashville. Uh, it is actually the program where Tim Tebow uh, worked That's out right. and stayed and, and, and got himself in shape for the NFL uh, draft. So we're very, very proud. They're doing very, very well. As a matter of fact, I work out there three times a week during their boot camp. It's great, not only for kids and athletes, but even older people. We've got the police department in Sharonville working out with us at 6 o'clock in the morning. It's terrific. This trophy, we should explain, they don't hand these out like after every successful surgery. I thought that was your Emmy. Well, <laughs> well <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting for that one. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. But right now, I want to see if these phones are going uh, down there because the last we saw, every one of these guys was on the line talking to someone. George, what kind of questions are we getting down there? Uh, we're getting a lot of questions. And uh, to find out exactly what, we'll ask Dr. Bob Berger, the guy who's responsible for the well-being of the Xavier University athletes. Dr. Robert Berger, uh, first of all, you were just on the phone. What are they asking? I was. We're asking hands, asking shoulders, a little bit of everything. A lot of sports medicine stuff, which is your specialty. And what is the difference between 10 to 20 years ago when you guys first started this thing as opposed to now, the difficulties in delivering proper sports medicine to people. Well, well first of all, one of, the, one of the neat things, but also one of the things that makes it a challenge, George, is, is that we look back when Dr. Kremchak and I started practice, you know, a lot of the specialized techniques for shoulder surgery were just in their early developmental stages. For example, if somebody dislocated his shoulder, you know, the ability to arthroscopically go in and treat it, the surgical techniques, the instrumentation, all that has improved tremendously. And, and with it, the challenge, is is it everybody's expectation nowadays is that hey gee if i saw a ball player i'm gonna be like that tomorrow mm -hmm. uh, for example we had a athlete that broke a collarbone lasalle quarterback four years ago that had a broken collarbone we put a plate on him 26 days later he threw three touchdown passes against elder oh my god for the next two years everybody on the western side of town wanted the plate <laughs> on their shoulder because they wanted to do the same thing and everybody's different and individualizing care as the techniques as instrumentations improved Everybody has the expectation, hey, that's what happened for so it's it's going to be for me. And everybody's different. Everybody's injury's different. Some injuries are simpler. Some injuries are more complicated. And despite the improvements, the, the techniques, the rehabilitation, the MRI sophistication, every individual's different. And there still are those bad season-ending injuries. And so that's the expectations people have. And, and yeah, and I mean, the, the it's come light years, and I guess the expectations are right, right along with it. They are. They're, it makes it fun. It makes it challenging. But it's one of those fields that you never, ever say, hey, we're done. Right. I'll let you get back to the phones. Thank Dr. You. Berger, thanks for your time. Uh, talking about plates and, and collarbones, I think most people think I have one in my head. Let's go back upstairs to Dr. Kremchak and Kim Brew. The great thing about Dr. Berger is, number one, his son is going to be a senior at, uh, at Notre Dame this year, tight end, and he's got another son that's going to play in a major, the junior amateur this weekend out in Seattle. That's a great family, the Berger family. Okay, we're going to talk about comeback athletes next. When we come back, it's a brand new feature here for uh, Beacon Sports and News 5. Okay. All right, straight ahead. When Call the Docs continues in just a moment.
Tamo mm-hmm. lá. We're back with more Call the Docs with the fine folks of Beacon Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. If you want to get on board and call one of the doctors here, 513-241-8315, 241-8315. We're going to talk quickly here with Dr. John Brannon, who's been working the phones. Your droid's going off. Your Blackberry's going off. This phone's going off. Uh, you're a head specialist. What do parents and trainers need to know and look for in head injuries? Biggest thing you got to look for is uh, impact. There's always a trauma. Uh, there's going to be a mental status change. They might feel funny. They might have a headache. They might get nauseous. They may pla- they may black out. They may pass out. They may start acting really strange. Those are signs of a more significant type of injury. And if you see something like that or experience something like that, you want to call someone that knows what to do in those cases, correct? Is it a phone call to your doctor or do you immediately go to the emergency room? If you're in the sporting arena, you can talk to the trainer, talk to the coach. Most coaches know what concussions are all about. Definitely tell your parents. You definitely don't want to try to hide it. You don't have to rush off to the emergency room. Not every single injury needs to be seen by an emergency room physician right away. Can it ever hurt to go to emergency room? No, it can't. Um, but talking to your family doctor, talking to the specialists uh, like us at Beacon, uh, someone ought to be aware of the injury. Okay, Dr. Brandon, thanks for your time. I'll let you get back to the phones. 241-8315, area code 513, or log on to WLWT.com and you can talk with Dr. Daggy through our chat room. Let's go back upstairs and chat with Ken and Dr. Krimchak. What were they doing there? It looked like, what were they? The were, chicken dance. That they're, was a the chicken dance they were doing. Yeah. I like that. That was good. That's good. Well, you do You have a lot of fun up there. I've been up there quite a bit. <laughs> Let's turn our attention to what well, is a brand new thing with Beacon Sports and Orthopedic Medicine that year, this year, and it's the comeback uh, athlete of the week. And I just think that's kind of cool because we actually see the fruits of your labor, so to speak, and, and, and the real tangible living proof that what you do at Beacon lends itself to great comeback stories on the field. You know, we talk about injuries and different problems during the week on the Blitz, and I thought it was really important uh, this year to talk about some of the athletes, um, the hundreds and hundreds of athletes that we deal with that get hurt, miss their season, the trauma mentally about missing their season, and how hard they have to work with these specific injuries, how much desire they have to want to get back on the field and play, and these kids that have spent this time, uh, and I think it makes them better athletes to get back on the field, and there's a lot of them and a lot of very deserving people, but every week we're going to have our comeback uh, athlete of the week and we're going to tell their story. Which is kind of cool because a lot of these athletes that you uh, you operate on, they rehab, they get back to high school, they also move on to college too. It's, oh, yeah. You know, and and you're really and truly ensuring their future. I think it's terrific. Uh, one more, I want to be because uh, we always forget to get this in. I want to mention it. Saturdays you have those clinics that uh, that uh, if somebody was injured on a Friday night or not just any athlete, it could be a weekend warrior. They can they can come in and, and have one of the doctors look at We it. have somebody year round on Saturday morning at our uh, Beacon over at Summit in Sharonville where I am. Uh, also in Western Hills with Dr. David Argo, who's not here tonight, uh, he's got his clinic. We do it year round. It's not just for football, it's for men and women's sports. Uh, oftentimes it's for people 